bringing people to the table is a process and not an event. It takes time. You have to build that process. It's not everybody that wants to be at the table needs to be at the table. Okay? And not everybody at the table needs to be at the table. There are missing bodies that should be there that are critical to the process. So you constantly ask the question in terms of who's not here that should be here. And a corollary question that is who's here that may not need to be here that's not value added. Uh, to the process. So you're constantly assessing and working through process and the dynamics of the, uh, of the engagement process. People assume there are um, standard groups but often don't explore the nuances of what that really means and I think either if you're trying to prepare to um, bring people together to discuss an issue um, or whether you're trying to deal in the moment of a crisis Getting the right people there is critical, and those are people generally um, should be defined as people who are directly affected by an issue or knowledgeable about an issue and have some standing in the community. And working in the community, identifying as various segments of your community, you have a lot of individuals within your community that, let's say they're stakeholders, I like to use my terms, and I call them, those are your informal mayors within your community. They're not elected, but the community knows who they are. And not much happens in the community without going through those individuals. So they're like the gatekeepers, uh, if you will. It's important if you're going to do community engagement to identify and know that community. Who are the movers and shakers? Who are the influencers within that community? And it's important that you have that conversation in contact with them because they have a voice. So, and, and working through process, very often the ones that get invited to the table, get invited to participate in discussions and so forth, are those that have been designated by so, the so-called establishment. The ones that you recognize, they behave the way you want them to behave. They recognize the protocols and procedures. They're okay coming in. You don't want that disruptive person that may come to a, a city commission meeting who's raising the question, who's challenging the commissioners, who have their own views and want to state them, very often those individuals do have an audience. And that audience is back in their community. And in order to get movement and in the community, you have to have that conversation with them. And those are tough conversations to have. And chances are, not only don't you want them at the meeting, they probably don't want to be at your meeting either. But they will influence others that are coming to the meeting. So it's important to have that, uh, that uh, discussion, that input.